Welcome back to My Independence Report. Our mission is to help produce the best outcomes that will serve everyone, socially, politically, and environmentally. It's time to eliminate the hate, division, and fear so pervasive today. So let's create a positive change and support great people who will lead us in this quest for prosperity for all, hope, kindness, and love, regardless of sex, color, or lifestyle. Please join me as we work together to achieve our greatness and build a better nation. And we are here on My Independence Report. And we have a great guest for you today. Uh, she is in the south of France, which is a beautiful area in the mountains. And uh, gets I'm going to have to ask her what the temperature is like there. Cause it's gorgeous. Know. Yes, over over 30 degrees. So quite hot. Oh, very good. See, see here in the States, we still are in the uh, dark ages because we're still using Fahrenheit. Um, as a measure, so if it's over 30 degrees Celsius, it must be what about 80 or 90? Yeah, in, in the 80s to 90s. So it's a, it's a mountain climate, so it doesn't it's not um, it's not intense and unbearable. We don't need we don't need aircon. It's a beautiful mountain climate. There's always freshness. There's always there's always dampness. So it's it's a, it's a really healthy climate. Now in the in the in the winter time, do you get a lot of snow because it's in the mountains? Well, because of climate change, not so much now. Oh. Um, we we used to have really cold winters, but unfortunately, they, they're getting fewer and fewer. So it's just it is cold. It does get cold. It's it's um it's a place that has real seasons. So I think a bit like Canada. I think just like it's if a real spring, a real summer, a real autumn, and a real a real winter. So it's not um, it's not mediocre like in England where it's kind of all where I came I come from originally where it's all kind of bland blandly drizzly <laughs> all year round. It's it's, <laughs> it's uh, if if it's windy it's really windy if it's cold it's really cold and if it's hot it's really hot. Now I have to ask you because uh, I was my son is in the Air Force in uh, England and. Um, he wants me to go there, but it's like, <clears throat> first of all, do you drive on the left side of the street or the right side of the street where you're in France? On the right. Oh, so you're normal like us. Yes. <laughs> Why in the world would, does England do that, do you suppose? Is it just because they always have? Because they I drive, no they drive on I the have left. Absolutely, I have no idea, but I would find it very, very hard to, to drive in England now after driving over here for so long. I, I tell you, I, I I would be scared to get into an accident there because I would turn on to the, and I would do it the way I normally do it, have done it my whole life, but it's wrong. You've got to do it the other way and uh, and stuff. So in any event, we're here with Jenny Parker Brown. She is a coach. She is an author. She's done a tremendous amount of work to help people, especially females, to change and to help themselves using the law of attraction and other modalities to help them become who they really are and to change their lives in a real positive way. And uh, have I, have I misstated that at all? Look, that's, that's globally what it is, but we can dive into some of the, the, the juicy details about that. Juicy details. I like juicy details. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite when somebody comes to you and, and you're going to coach them, what is your favorite topic? What is you, what do you like to work with people on? Uh, infinite possibility. Infinite possibility. That's cool. Now, describe what infinite possibilities means. <laughs> it, it means that we are all we all have the power to create the lives that we want that we want. And that's been that's actually basic quantum physics. So I love to bring that to the table quite early. Um, to blow down the walls of you know of what is possible for people and and especially my my beloved change makers that that you know that I'm working with um, and just show them that the that the sky is not the limit and you you as we talked about last week I I'm a living proof of that. Why do you think it is that so many of us? 
don't believe that that's possible. That is a that's a million dollar question, Kevin. First it of really all, is. obviously, it's it's conditioning and education. Um, I, I don't have one member in my family who knows what the hell I'm talking about for a start. <laughs> <laughs> And actually, actually, most of my friends as well. So that's why I hang out with with other people who are doing this personal development work. Because you're like, oh, I am normal. Um, do you know? I, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna bring up a big point here that, that I was thinking about, and I think is so relevant. Is that when when you and you've been down, you know, you've you're still on this journey as well. When you start and continue a journey of personal growth, personal development, and you start to explore all sorts of modalities. And the law of attraction comes usually comes in quite early as you as and that explains why we're powerful creators. And of course, that's not new. It's as old as time itself. And then you start to understand that there are actually all sorts of other dynamics that that are that, that are at play and the more you go on the more you explore and the more you read and the more you listen to pop beautiful podcasts like this one and the, you and you watch youtubes um and talk to people like-minded people you realize how how, how expansive the world actually is whereas you've been in your tiny little kind of tiny little universe and because that is that is normal for us to live in our tiny tiny little universe because it's 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 nature we you know we have our our perspective but then when you start to get into um the, like the quant the quantum physics part of it and the scientific bases for all the you know the the mystical phenomena you realize that it's actually actually just part of the way that the universe works. And I just have to reference um, those incredible titan leaders of um, Joe Dispenza and um, Bruce Lipton and Greg, Greg Braden, and there's, and there's uh, so many others, and there's a lot of new underground guys coming up now, and, and, and women as well. I mean, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of leaders who have, pro have proved, and scientists like um, Haramain, yes, I've forgotten what his forename is now, Haramain, um, just so much science to underline the nature of our universe and how the universe works. So it's a complete and utter mystery to me why this science, which is superseding Newtonians and science, it has not come more into mainstream awareness yet. And certainly why the heck it isn't in mainstream politics and, and gov government and, and all of that stuff. I don't want to get into that because I am not a politician. I know absolutely nothing about politics whatsoever. But the, the, the question that I've been asking myself all these years as I understand the infinite nature of the universe and the, and the beautiful, magical world in which we live in is why, do, why don't more people know about this? And so it, it depends on uh, us to do exactly what we're doing and come together and and share it and then encourage people to do their own reading and their own research and find out for themselves because you know Mr Google will have every single answer for for you you only have to be open minded enough to just go out there and say what else is possible for my life and and this is this is a beautiful, a beautiful question is to get out of the, con the conditioning that we've had societally, parentally, um, generationally, is to, uh, to explode those boxes. We have to start by saying, what else is possible for me first? What else is possible for my life? And, and when you ask that question, like, the, the, the universe will answer in some way. You know, like like things happen because suddenly you've you've shifted that 
fixed perspective. And that, for me, Kevin, is the beginning of freedom. I, I couldn't agree more. One of the important moments of my life was, you know, I'd been in sales and management and all that stuff. But the important part for me was, why am I really here? There's got to be more than what I've been told. And and I've been told a very narrow viewpoint of why we're here and what we're here to do. We're here to work and we're here to raise a family and then we're here to to uh, retire and then and then we then we die rather than what are we really here to do and how can I impact the world and the people around me and myself to a great degree the, to, to become better than I was to and to become who I really am. And but a lot of people, for whatever reason, and a lot of it, I think, has to do with the stories that they're told when they're when they're kids or what their belief structure is. They they really are not aware or think that that it is possible or different until you start looking at talking with people like Greg Braden. I interviewed him in in two thousand and three, and it was like, "Hi, Greg, how you doing?" And uh, he said, I'm fine. And I said, so tell me what it is that you do. And that's the last thing that I, I made sense of because he was talking in such a unique way and such a, such a powerful way that, that he, was, he was explaining things to me that, that nobody at that time, this is in 2003, nobody at that time even knew what quantum physics were or what it was about or how, how to make it, make it better and, and how it actually can be applied in the, in the world into our lives. And so I'm so glad that people like you were out here uh, talking about it because it is an important aspect of, of all of our lives to become who we really are and who, in my opinion, who, who we wanted to be before we even got here. Does that make sense? If it's um, not only makes sense, it's, it's actually the, the, co the core of my work. Because as as I as I work with women um, coaches, uh, especially with the, especially with the brand the branding and the positioning and all of that, um, here's an, here's a really interesting thing: is is a, is a lot of entrepreneurs will start with their product or their service or their or what they're put, putting out in the world. If they're like most of my women are, heart led, soul led, mission inspired, all of those those beautiful beautiful motivations they will know that they will begin to have an idea of their why their purpose just what you were talking about so once you once you've grasped that that you do have a purpose that everybody has a purpose already you've got you've got you've got a northern star to follow you know that 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 northern star what is my purpose why why am i here but the the beautiful question that you brought up there Kevin was who am I so this is the one that most people find so difficult to answer and they will answer in terms of identities and roles usually they say what their their job is I either I'm a coach or I'm a media founder or I'm a podcast creator I'm you know cricketer what whatever now when we're <laughs> coming back to quantum physics and this is, um, you will understand this. I'm not Greg Bra Braden. I say things in, <laughs> in <laughs> easy, I say things in really easy ways so that even I can understand it. <laughs> so I, I need to understand what I'm talking about is, you know, um, uh, Dr. Wayne Dwyer used to talk about the power, the, the, the power of the, the I am and how, how we define our reality and, we, you know, when we create our reality. So does, so does jo Dr. Joe Dispenza, you know, the, the power of the I am. But m most people have no idea how powerful that is. What I discovered, and I'll, I'd love to tell the story of how I Please. discovered it. Uh, I, 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 I discovered the power of that I am lies in who we are being and who we are being is how we are feeling. That's it. That is absolutely it. Who we are being right now is how we are feeling. 
So the way we are feeling is, especially if we want to feel good, is determined by just three things. It is determined by what we love, what we're really passionate about, what what really puts us in the zone, you know, ab- what, what we absolutely love. It's determined by what we're gifted at, what we're really, really good at innately, what other people um, admire us for or compliment us for. And it comes from what we value. And what we value can sometimes be things that stir us up, you know, like like justice or causes or things like that. So they can make us feisty or feisty, depending on which (laughs) where you come from. But nevertheless, those (laughs) those are the three those are the three things that put us in this zone of being, any zone of being that is uh, uplifting, that is with exhilaration and joy and connection and and in the flow, whatever term you want to get to give to it, um, you know that there there are degrees of 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 joy from mere contentment up to you know swinging off the ceiling with with excitement. But but those are yeah I like that. <laughs> I like I'm swinging a ceiling. on the ceiling with excitement. I'm a, ce- I'm a ceiling swinger. <laughs> so <laughs> so those so those three things are. Are those are the portals? So who you are, you are either being, you know, something that is a, um, an one of those experiences, or you're being the opposite, the the, the polarity, the you know, the the some somewhere near the negatives, uh, you know, not not being optimistic or just being um, this word I love I love languishing Lang- i'm languishing i i am languishing you say i'm languishing i am depressed well if you if you say i am depressed then you are absolutely talking your depression into being so that's the way it works now i discovered this through a, a, an absolutely amazing story and it happened as a culmination of um, a, dr- a big dream that I'd had uh, that I told you about the other day for, oh gosh, 12 years that I wanted to work with horses or, or, or do dancing, be a dancer. And it was when I came to France that I discovered that horse dancing was actually a thing. And I'm like, I, oh, I'm home. <laughs> Just like, I'm home. So I, I set to and learned how to be a professional horse dancer. So that was a performer, really. It's, it's, it's art and music and costumes and lights and beautiful arenas. And, Very and pretty. Um, with it. so I had this, I had this, bought this gorgeous little white horse from the Camargue from Provence and trained him to dance with me. And one night we were in the, we, I was part of a troupe. We were in the Côte d'Azur, a night like tonight, um, blue sky, cicadas, nightingales, just absolutely beautiful, still Mediterranean night. And I'd had to replace the head of the troop that night because her horse was injured. And she said, Jenny, you're going to do it tonight with Polly. So with my horse, you're going to take my place tonight. And I said, I can't possibly take your place. Like you've been training forever to do this. And she said, you will. You will take my place. The show has to go on. You are doing, going to do it. So off I went, um, dressed up as a, a gorgeous, glamorous vampire um, on, my, on my little white horse who performed to absolute perfection um, and did everything that was, it was just amazing. I had the reins attached to my waist. It was artistic. It was just beautiful. And then I did this number, dan- actually dancing with him on, on, on foot in a white dress and he also was was absolute perfection. And then uh, Danny, the head of the troop, she opened this chest and out flew 12 white doves who flew around the arena and landed on my horse oh, wow. who did not move a muscle. Now, it, it was not rehearsed. <laughs> it was, it was, it was 
such a moment of perfection and magic. I actually had what I don't know, some kind of epiphany, Kevin. I was at it was it was astonishing. And I sort of I, I was like, okay, that's it. That's what I came to do here in this life. I came to experience that moment of epiphany and joy and beauty and love and expansion and gorgeousness and horses and dancing and Mediterranean. That's what I came to experience. And I was like, right, I'm done. Beam me up, Scotty. But I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. It was that it was that good. The experience was that good. Now, after obviously I was not meant to be going going at that point. So I asked myself the question for, for just a few years beforehand, not many years before that incredible moment when it, you know a dream was fulfilled, that I'd been suicidal, Kevin. I'd been a mother for the second time, um, 18 years after my first daughter, was not meant to be a mother at the age of 41, but I'd, I became, became a mother and I was pretty shocked and upset about it all. And and I'd been, you know, very close, close to really not wanting to carry on. So and there was a very short time before this moment of epiphany. And I I I took stock in that moment and I thought, what is it that can lead humans to such depths of despair that they want to take their own life? And sadly, it is all too, all too common. And, and what is it that can take them to the heights of, of joy and connection and knowing that why you're here and honestly mystical experience? What is it? And I said, universe, I want to know because if I find that answer, I can help other people. And the universe went, okay, you're on. <laughs> And that's been that was in two thousand and four or five, I think. So kind of nineteen years ago, and that's been my quest ever since: is how can I help other people know that that, that they can turn around from, you know, what seems to be the black, the blackest, grimmest picture of their life that they can have to what you know my dream sounds like Pollyanna it sounds like I made it up it sounds like something on Netflix but it was real it, it happened it was it was a fact and and I felt it and I you know I'm 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 trying to get back there just like, like <laughs> No, I'm not. I've, I've I've had many I've had many other epiphanies, but they haven't been quite as perfect and and exquisitely beautiful as that moment. But nevertheless, this is my quest: is to be able to share that wisdom. So, I asked that question of the universe, and the universe led me, led me to start researching and researching and researching and researching. And this is where I came. I come back to what you love, what you're good at, what you're what you're gifted at, and what you what you value. Was the power the power of numerology and numbers? And numbers hold the secrets to the universe. It's incredible. It's incredible how numbers hold the secrets to the universe. Science science is numbers. Numbers are ancient. They're mystical. They explain everything. And, and I found this answer in the number three, which is one of the most powerful numbers in the universe. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a trinity. And a trinity is the most solid, the strongest foundation there is. So if you notice, there weren't four ways to access your happiest state of being. There are three. There are degrees of love. There are degrees of gifts. There are degrees of values. And, and so it is the in when you unite those three things, you bring them all together is when you are in in your at your most powerful, your most your strongest creator powers It is incredible. So this beautiful research that I I've also backed up with science, um, 
I've called the Trinity Code, and this is what I use for the basis of my work. And I know that sounds incredibly far out there, <laughs> but <laughs> well, not to me, not to me, because see, I, I firmly believe now there was a point in time in my life. Well, first of all, let me back up a little bit, and that is, and I agree, with, I agree with you like uh, ten thousand percent because we all are special. We all have our gifts. Our gifts are different for each one of us. And we pick those gifts before we even got here. And because we we decided, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to learn while I'm here this time. And, and so they provide us with a blueprint on how to get that done. Now, we also have free will. So as we get here and people say you're not so great and this happens and you have a marriage that fails or another thing happens and, and you don't feel very good about yourself. When you reach a conclusion and when you reach a period of time, when you say, all right, and this is exactly what happened to you. All right, universe, I'm ready. I want to know what's going on and see the universe. I think you'd said that before, because one of the reasons you got to France you didn't even know about horse dancing before you got to France, but it was a, a really important thing. And the universe was saying, all right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take, we're going to take her and we are going to take Jenny and, and we are going to uh, take her to France. And then she's going to learn about the horses. And it's going to be a one step thing after another for you to live the life that can then be of service to others because of what you're doing. And it was all predestined by you before you even got here with the help of guides and angels and the universe and whoever, whoever you believe is out there. That's how that's, I believe that's how it works. That's how we ended up doing, you know, 1300 shows is is it was a complete it was a complete surprise when i started doing this but i wanted to know what i could do to contribute and so it, it, you, it is so once you ask that question what else is possible for me the the universe can, get, can will say okay are you are you re are you ready are you re you know you are you ready to know what else is possible are like, you sit sure down. you want to go down this road that's right <laughs> Sit down. We're going to make a list. <laughs> We're going to organize it. Yeah. You just get out the way. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And I firmly believe that there's a whole group of them on the other side that are saying, oh, good. Finally, finally, she's letting us do what we all agreed before she even was born, what we wanted to do together. And so then they, they go about making it happen. And the more that you trust, the more that you say yes. And you say yes to the universe, the faster those things happen for you. And they, they come along. Does that mean that your life is Pollyanna and just perfect every moment of every day after that? No, that's not what life is. Life can be challenging and, and stuff, but you're moving in the right direction. Do you agree with that? Absolutely. Yeah, the, the, this, this, this life is lifey. You know. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's a bumper sticker. I want to put that on a bumper sticker. Life, life is lively, lifey. You know, body bodies are messy. Relationships, relationships are tricky. You know, the world, the world's quite hard to navigate at the moment. So, but 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 the magic, the magic that you just talked about is always there. It never sleeps. It's always watching. Yep. It's always listening. And and so, and it comes back to you mentioned it so so beautifully. It's it's predestined. I'm not. I don't know if it's predestined. Probably the way that the way that everything kind of worked out. And I and I and I went. I actually got to horse dance. But so probably the way that the that you know there was one step and then another step and another step and another step of impossible little little circumstances that that all add up. I mean. If that it's not magic, I just don't know what is. But but that's when when we hold to who uh, who our I am is. That's when that's when we can start to direct. It'll be a GPS if you can get your I am to be in the highest 
I'm going to say the word frequency and vibration. It, you know, if you can be in that highest zone of flow or secret frequency and vibration for for the most time that you can, in spite of and uh, over, over and around the lifey bits, then you will be moving firmly, solidly towards your purpose and your beautiful destiny. And that's that is you indeed you said it early that's what we came here to do the blue the blueprint you know the the blueprint and and so and more and more of us i'm so excited about this because more and more of us are doing are learning about this and doing it and because of that their lives are changing in a dramatic way and they're able to then turn around and help other people. And that's how this happens. This is a one person at a time thing because it's not something that, and, and yes, there are guys, you know, that uh, can, can be in front of 5,000 people and can get some folks that, but, but to really get down to, to the depths of it, you need a coach. You need somebody who understands where you're at and can help you negotiate through those things because we can't see everything. Um, that's just not, we're just, most of us are just not that talented. Uh, we, and we see the negatives and we, and stuff like that. And, and our friends and family, one of the things that you said is your, um, when you're vibrating at a higher level and your energy is higher, what ends up happening is the people that are, that you used to vibrate with no longer vibrate at the same level. They tend to fall away but which opens the door for new people, new experiences, and a wonderful um, awakening for yourself and for them as well. Have you found that in your life? It happened in mine. Oh my goodness! Yes, especially since since we and spent since online grew grew so much. Yes. Um, I just I discovered because I I never I I could never find where I belonged ever I didn't I didn't belong in England um I kind of belong here <laughs> kind of but because bigger but, but I, I mean I'm not I'm I'll never be I'll never be French I don't I don't it's it's different I'm just I feel privileged to live here but once I got online and started um working and building and collaborating and with with people who of like of like-minded um, motivation I'm, I'm hallelujah hallelujah oh my goodness you know we're not we're not alone we we understand each other we're talking we're talking the same language we've got the same we're we're all we're all pulling on the same rope or push pushing on the same whatever it is but we're on the same side and um you 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 just mentioned um, it's not a quantum leap, a quantum shift. There's a, um, there's a word that's evading me at the moment. Um, it's like a critical point. Uh, like a critical point is, is when there are enough of, of something happening that there's a critical point where it, where it will, it will, it will happen. And, and it, we're all working together. As you said, one person at a time, one more, one more, beautiful soul who starts questioning their life at a time one more connection at a time online um and that honestly i don't what i don't know what you think about this kevin is that's all we need to do is just keep doing that work that's all we can do that's all we can do that's all there is and it's one person at a time and as an example you know being a podcaster and being a radio host even though technically speaking there are maybe more than one person listening it still is one person at a time because we're having a conversation see i feel like we're you and i are having this conversation in a starbucks as an example i don't know if they have starbucks in france i imagine they do and uh we're, we're at starbucks and there's a third person who's sitting at the table with us and they're listening to our conversation absorbing it and perhaps taking notes but it's an important aspect for them because we're talking to one person at a time. It's a very intimate thing that you and I are doing with somebody that we're talking to. 
It's not the masses. It's the one person. And there may be only one person who is listening to this. You, you would not believe, Jenny, how many times I've been on the radio and somebody will call in and we'll be talking about a, a particular subject. And they'll say, you know, I was just tuning the dial. I've never listened to this show before. I've never listened to this station before, but I stopped and listened and you were talking about the exact thing that I've been thinking about all day. And so they were brought to, I don't know how the universe does this. That's pretty, pretty remarkable, isn't it? Um, but they do it and so that people can then be in to get in touch with what they're needing at that particular moment in time. It really is a beautiful thing that you and I get to get an opportunity to do. And you go so much deeper when you do your coaching with people because you can help them get through that, the, the, the messiness of, uh, life. what do you call it? Lifey? When life gets lifey. Yeah, the messiness of lifey. <laughs> I like that. Lifey, lifiness. <laughs> lifiness. And it's it's and it's important. The work that you're doing is so important. Are you finding as you go down the road a little bit that more and more people are being influenced and the the network of folks that you are in touch with is getting bigger and bigger? Oh yes. Yes, uh, absolutely. Um, I, it's it's really interesting because I, I started really getting into this space uh, in 2011, 12. It was, it was the beginning of when personal development and business were really converging online. So it was it was the kind of beginning time of the of the super guru and, you know, and the big major influencers talking, talking about and how they brought um, that they were they were bringing together the the success and and personal development. And it was all converging. And, and that was right in the beginning. And now there's. There are so many versions of that. There's a version of that for every for every taste, for every person, for every interest, for every budget. Like yep. for, ev for every for every creed, for everybody. There's a version of that for every every everybody. So so technology has played its part. You know this thing that we often cuss and we get frustrated with and you know or, or we depend on or we get fed up of it's actually it's actually playing a part you know in in the whole universe this whole universal puzzle puzzle of of, of our evolution obviously technology is playing a massive part in that and it blows my mind every day when i have a thought i just have a thought well um oh i just i want to know that fact or i, I need to know more about that and just Google it, and 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 all of a sudden, I've got more information. I'm more informed. I'm more educated. I can do something. I can do something better or something different. Or I, I'm more in, informed to what what I'm going to do next. Now you just multiply that by billions, and it, it, it's mind blowing. So. We are you, especially with with organisations like KM Media, are using the technology available to affect this quantum shift. And so I see everywhere some some amazing leaders emerging, just with with different different perspectives and different ideas and different visions, or even different ways of coming to the same conclusions. I, I've honestly, um, you and I are boomers, aren't we? <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> <laughs> boomers and proud. <laughs> You've been boomers and while. proud, yeah, boomers and proud. But I, I would say that um, I, I don't think there's ever been such an exciting time to be alive. So, con conversely to what everybody thinks is the world's doomed and everything is going to pot and it's all, it's, it's all gloom and doom and you know, you know on the contrary 
when I look around and I, and I, and I, and I marvel at, at the, at the people that, uh, that I collaborate with and what they're doing, I, I think I have never been, I, I, I am so privileged, so grateful to be alive at this time and a part of this great shift. I'll even take it one step further. And I think that you planned on being here at this time because of what's happening now. Do you, oh, do you know that is that is that is so funny? If <laughs> if anybody, if anybody, when I was a little little girl, quite shy, very discreet, very well behaved. If anybody had told me that I was going oh, that I was going to walk in the, the shoes of a visionary and be and be and be doing this kind of work, I I just. I just wouldn't have, I wouldn't have understood. I, I certainly wouldn't have believed it. Well, but you see, that's the thing is that it's a journey and our lives are a grand adventure and we get to experience all of that. I mean, there's, I've always been a friendly kind of dude and, uh, but uh, it wasn't until I got on this path that I realized the impact that we can all have on each other. I personally believe the day of the guru is dead where the the guru that would stand in front of 5,000 people and everybody would worship him as being better than anybody else. I don't think anybody's better than anybody else. I think we've all got our own journey to walk. And But the key is to do exactly what you did. And that's to say, all right, guys, I've had enough. Tell me what I need to do and I'll do it. And 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 it it began to happen for you and you ended up in France and horse dancing and became becoming a visionary and it just continues to flow for you because that is why you were here why you wanted to come here in the first place oh i i like my life it seems it seems less less lifey all of a sudden <laughs> <laughs> well yeah you know and it's it's i have the best time the best times of my life are doing these shows with people mm. like you because of the energy that that we generate together the togetherness the the positivity it really makes it a big deal uh, for me because we can spread this and that's our mission is to spread this for to make to help everybody be more kind loving generous you know and and uh if we can do that and we can help each other and I love what you do because you help people and you coach them. I'm not a coach. I could, if you said, what about this? I had no earthly idea how to help you. Um, I can do what I do and I can talk to you. And that's my gift. And that's what I love to do. And so it's what you and, do. And uh, yeah, th there you go. You see, it's, it's, you love it. You're good at it and you value it highly. So that is, that is where your zone of genius is. That's where your genius and your, and your, uh, your superpowers lie. And, that, and that's anybody, anybody who can combine those three, th three things together is where their genius and their superpowers lie. And we all have them. And you can give me anybody who say, yes, but you don't, you don't know what my life's like. You know, I, I sorry, we, we still have the power. We still have the power. You only have to. You only have to go on. Uh, just things like some watching some of the Netflix documentaries on, and 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 other other stations of extremely handicapped or uh, you know people who go on to do the most incredible things, including physical feats. Um, and and we all we all have this possibility all of us yes we really do all eight billion of us can you <laughs> i can't even put my my head around that number it's so big but we have got the ability with so many of us on the planet now that it, the more the people that we can talk to that that buy into, you know, it's, I, I have to tell you, it's interesting. Uh, I talk to a lot of business people and stuff and they are very shy about talking about 
what you and I are talking about here. So they kind of tiptoe around it and into it because it's not necessarily socially acceptable in all spheres to be able to say, yes, I talked to my angels and my guides and this is what we're, so they just kind of, well, you know, I talk and I've got this good energy. And, and so when I open up to them, then, then it's like, oh, he gets it. Okay. Now I can open up, which is kind of, it's really is cool. But people are, are are scared about the reaction of other people in their lives. Yeah, yeah. I, I, the, the the business the business thing is ch- is changing really rapidly, like su- absolutely super rapidly. And there are some people who have written books about energetic selling and energetic marketing, and you know, and numerology for business, and um, and astrology for business, and and all of these things which I think is amazing and so so again it there is the the, the convergence is, st- is still happening you know we want we want we want these they're not mystical arts they're they're it's still science at the end of the day but it's it's some of it is unseen unseen science but we want we want them to be infused we we, we need that for us to to keep evolving and and i need to ask you uh, by the way we're talking with uh, Jeannie parker brown and if somebody wants to contact you how do they do it young lady the best way is in email so and your email it, is my email is jenny i'm jenny with an i jenny at jenny dash p dot com so I'm usually known as Je- Je- Jenny P. So you can Google me; you'll find me somewhere, and I'm on Facebook. But it, it, that's the best way. Perfect, because um, I, I I want people to contact you because you you do a lot of a lot of good for for people. What do you in your heart of hearts? Are you where you want to be? Are you still? thinking about doing something new something else because you're gonna you get downloads all the time i would imagine of, oh, of different ways thank you of thank you for thank you for asking that question you know i am such a flipping passionate potential <laughs> person it just it never it never stops it's not static you know it, it we just we just keep expanding and um my i had a i had a cancer journey last year I discovered that that I had um, a, a malignant tumor, which luckily was removed. And for the moment, I'm completely and utterly healed. But it got me doing some very existentialist, deep thinking and, you know, and concentrating on, OK, what do I really want from my life for this next chapter? So I realized Kevin, that you know, in, in with I've had so many amazing adventures and misadventures, I have to say. <laughs> but I realize that time goes by so fast. You know that I live by the philosophy of not having any regrets at the end. And I feel like I'm only just getting started. So I've got so much more to do. So I recently discovered the Japanese principle of a misogi. And a misogi is um, comes from a, a, a Japanese a Japanese myth. Um, it, it's it's a kind of meeting your demons st- type of sto- story, like a rite of passage. And and I discovered this, and I thought, huh, I haven't done anything sort of really, really, really hard for a long time. In fact, and I thought, okay, I think I just got a little bit complacent, even a little bit, you know, a little bit blah. Um, So I suddenly thought, right, I'm going to give myself a misogi or or three, (laughs) just like so, because the the um, the point about the misogi is it stretches you. It has to be really, really hard. I want to. I want to be stretched. If I, you know, like, like, I don't, I don't have a, a mentor like mentoring me to go further like the Olympic cha- champions do. Uh, we've got to do it for ourselves. So I'm, I'm going to give myself a regular misogi, 
um, nothing too scary, but nevertheless, enough to put me outside of my comfort zone so that I keep growing. For me at the moment in this in this next chapter, Kevin, it it is um, it's physical because I have been blessed with a lot of physical cap- capabilities that I that I've still not really, really got to the you know what what I'm capable of and I know I'm capable of so much more we we do mountaineerings we, we go we go we go up mountains my partner and I and and I and I run and I and I keep well um, for good maintenance but I want to do something I, I don't want to go up Everest I don't want to do anything you know I don't want to do anything reckless <laughs> I'm not yeah. reckless but I do want to keep growing so for me, this next chapter is partly um, the way that my business is, has shifted, is being able to help more women entrepreneurs have visibility and limelight and positioning and messaging and for people to find them and to know them and that, so that they can help more people. And for me to, to really push myself in the, in the physical domain um, I, I absolutely need that. So that was that's a great question. It's really where I where I am. So d- describe what uh, Masogi Misogi. Misogi. Describe what that is, and 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 how difficult it is to do. Well, it's you choose your own Misogi. In actual fact, like everybody, what I mean, like somebody's Misogi could be speaking on a stage. Just you know something that is absolutely petrifying for them something that they, they know that if they want to go forward that they, they, they've got they've got to they've got to get over it so you actually choose your own misogi what whatever seems to be the most um, t- terrifying there are two rules to a misogi is one make it really really hard and the other rule is don't die and that's it <laughs> Yes, and, 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 and I found this in a, in an amazing book um, that I highly recommend to to the listeners called, um, by Michael Easter called the Comfort Crisis, and it's it is about how we've got way too comfortable in our lovely leisurely lives, and we have technology at our fingertips, and everything's cushy for most of us, you know, uh, um, and and how. The, how we really, really need to connect with our our primal abilities to to of instinct and and survival and and all of those things and just get back in touch with nature, just really get back in touch with nature. So to find find a misogi that that is going to put you outside of your your comfort zone, um, and and so I decided to give myself a monthly misogi. Um, well, actually, actually I, I did a couple last month. One of them was we have this, this beautiful former railway line that runs runs from town to town, and it's now a green way. It's for cyclists and riders and walkers and everything. And I just decided I'd de- I done little bits of it. It's it's thirty three kilometers, I think it is, or thirty eight kilometers. And I just decided one Sunday that I was going to walk it, you know. And I d- I didn't even know if I could walk thirty eight kilometers on a Sunday <laughs> just like that or I was going to run walk it I was going to part run and part. and I did it and and um and I went okay this is good now what so I decided to go up a mountain on my own and I haven't been up a mountain on my own for a really long time I've been with David for 15 years we go mountaineering together and I and I it, I've always been now I started to get a little bit sort of oh, I don't want don't know should I be on my own going up right. a mountain and 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 I thought I am going up a mountain so I did I went up a mountain for the day I spent I spent a day in the mountain I was absolutely fine I loved it so so you start with one masogi and then you can make them more and more badass <laughs> just like you can just like, <laughs> you can you can you can up, upgrade your level of badassery in your misogis but it's about growing, you know, it's about stretching ourselves and growing. Because if we don't, if, you know, if, if I can leave anything, anything, anything with the listeners is 
not to let one day go past where you haven't you don't feel that you've grown in some areas you know that 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 yeah that you've grown in some area because a, a day is a four thousandth of a life yeah yeah and every day is important and, and every day is important yes by the way we've been talking with jenny parker brown and you can go to her to do you want them to go to your website or to your email yes absolutely they can, they can see everything i've talked about is true <laughs> <laughs> and what's the website? I, did, but I didn't make it up which is which is brandissima.co so it's brandissima is one word brand and then isima i double s i m a dot co that's it brandissima.co and you can and you can learn all about what she's talking about the law of attraction and other energetic modalities and and i'm probably nlp and all kinds of different things that uh, that you do to help people help themselves because that's the cool thing is that you can't help anybody Jenny, you just can't. But what you can do is you can help people help themselves and and to show them there is a better way. There's a, a new way that they may have not considered. And that is beyond powerful. And I want to thank you for being here. You are awesome. I really enjoy having you on the show. And uh, you're going to have to come back and, and we get to do this again. Will you do that? Oh, yes, please. I can talk about my misogies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine would be like, uh, okay, go buy a snake and put it in your house, and, and <laughs> it's like, it's like, no, you, are you kidding me? There's not a prayer that <laughs> I would do that. But it isn't. It is important that you continue to stretch yourself and uh, to and to continue continue the road that you're on. This is a journey, not a destination. The only time it's a destination is when you look at the bottom of your foot and it, it, your expiration date is on it, and it happens to be today. Other than that, you're on a journey, and you continue to uplift yourself and those around you by the things that you do, whether it be, I don't know, drive a bus for a living or um, become a, 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 a visionary or write a book or whatever it is you want to do, just as... Um, there's a company in the United States, Nike. I'm, I'm, I know that you probably know Nike. And they say, just do it. Just put on your big boy pants or your big girl pants and sit them up and, and just go do it. That would be my advice. What do you can give us some one last nugget that people can take with them? Yeah, I've got a client. I've got a, a beautiful client who's going through all, all of my work, and and she says she's she's a, she's American, and she's but she's moved to Cornwall in England. She says we're doing it. She says we're doing it. So we just say that like we're doing it. <laughs> just that's, that's, do it. We're doing it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. And uh, you will find a level of happiness that you may not have ever experienced before. I just, I'll just leave you my very, 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 very last one. This is, this is, this is, this is Jenny wisdom is show up as your highest self every day and your highest life will meet you there. Show up as your highest self every day and your highest life will meet you there. With bells on. With bells on. Absolutely. Jenny Parker Brown has been our guest, and I want to thank you for being here. And uh, Google her, find her, work with her. She's she's awesome. And maybe she'll invite you over to her house to have dinner. It's in France. So it might be a fun time. Um, so in any event, probably not. <laughs> she's you're looking at me like, what? Um, Jenny, thank <laughs> you so much for being here. Thank you so much for this opportunity. It's been such, such, a, we, we could talk for hours. I'm oh, good. <laughs> We really could, but I want to honor your time. It's the beginning. It's the end of your day. So it's time for you to have, you know, a cup of tea or something else and you know, calm down and get ready for, for tomorrow because tomorrow's another grand adventure. Indeed. So thank you, Jenny. And you have an awesome day. And by the way, everybody, this is my independence report. 
you can go to myindependencereport.com, find out all kinds of stuff about us or YouTube. And uh, I really appreciate the fact that people are listening and, and uh, we are um, reinvigorating uh, my independence report. So I'll be, be watching for more episodes as we go down the road, but thank you so much, my dear. And uh, you have a great day. Thank you. Hey, thanks for joining us on My Independence Report. Please like and subscribe. And more importantly, tell everyone you know that a new show is in town and we mean to make the world a better place. And remember, be kind to one another because each other's all we've got.